Most people leave rear window wiper blades worn to the ground because the manufacturer sells only the, the, the whole arm as part of a bigger assembly, but it doesn't have to be the case. I can show you in this video how the rubber from uh, any wiper blade assembly can be removed and mounted on uh, whatever you have mounted on the vehicle. They will match, they will go together. Now on this one, you can see that the rubber blade has been worn down to basically nothing. It's, it's all of it is snapped away. You can see in the middle here that only the remnants of it stays there that there used to be this wiping edge on it at one point. There, this whole triangular shape, let me just get the camera to focus, this whole triangular shape that does the wiping and should be mobile everything this whole thing has been ripped off of this one probably the last time this was replaced was uh, 2006 when it was installed new so the rubber wiper blade usually has this metal edge in it and this metal edge is held by claws the claws run in a channel like so like so and uh, like at this end. Now I've taken at one point the these claws engage with these dimples in the rubber so I've just taken it out so now the whole thing can be pulled out like so with a, maybe with a little bit of grunt or with two hands but uh, I've loosened it so I can shoot this video using one hand only so that's the worn blade and what I need to do now is uh, the same thing this one is mounted differently so I need to compress the tabs a little bit and pull out this uh, rubber strip from it just like I pulled out this one and put the rubber strip from here and mount it into this channel and then bippity boppity we're done so I need two hands on this one so give me a minute uh, while I get this done I've bent the lower halves of the claws this one and this one just with a pair of pliers like so very simple and uh, don't touch those ones and you can just pull out this whole rubber strip with those metal edges from this assembly here because the these claws just let this rubber strip with its metal edges slide in this channel or groove very straightforward yes so all you need to do is mount this piece in the wiper assembly that's on the car. Super straightforward. And here is the finished product making a beautiful half circle with no grooves on the glass. This is how it looks like when it's done. Sorry, a little bit wet. And this is the, let me just get the camera to focus. Here is the pivot point and this is how the with these metal tabs and that claw interact same for the upper mounting point and the lower mounting point there we have it okay there you can see both at the same time so this is rock solid this is a 13 inch long blade a little longer than the original 12 inch long blade blade and it cost me uh, six dollars the dealer also has the whole arm as well as the insert. Uh, insert is 12 bucks, so there it is. The, if the pieces fall apart in the meanwhile or uh, while you're working at it, don't worry about it because steel was made at the steel mill, rubber was made elsewhere, different products combined together so they come apart. They, they are definitely not born together or not manufactured together. Now, this one, the original one, is uh, has a different profile. How do I do this? There, that's how. Just give me a sec here to get this shot. There, the original is uh, a little wider. There, a little wider, meaning yeah, meaning this way, this dimension, okay, but uh, this one, this replacement one, fits fantastically well, it's not going anywhere, and it's a little longer, 
it's giving me a little extra length there not that I need it but uh, so that's how it fits for half the cost very simple that's how you